is the Times. Sleaze Row MP quits is the Daily Express. Uh, the Guardian, Tories plunged into crisis after Sleaze rules U-turn. For the I, day of chaos in Downing Street. Uh, for the Metro, Sleaze scandal ex-minister quits at last. It really doesn't get much worse than this, does it? Um, and for the Daily Telegraph, Patterson quits after backlash from MPs. That does mean, of course, that there are a couple of others out there. For the Financial Times, understandably, and I would argue probably quite correctly, uh, they go with the Bank of England story. Their headline, Bank of England sends investors scrambling by keeping interest rates on hold. We'll explain what was behind that scramble in our regular look at the world of finance, which is about 10 plus uh, minutes away. For the Sun newspaper, Ladies and the Champ, this is world boxing champion Tyson Fury took two fans on an eight-hour... <laughs> No one used. I used to write this stuff on an eight-hour booze-fueled bender. Whoever used this expression? Where were you last night? Oh, I was on a bit of a booze-fueled bender. What? You went out with friends? Yes. Okay. Anyway, so this uh, is Mr. Fury uh, with two very attractive uh, young ladies. Uh, one of whom is 21, 24, knocking back the shots at a Manchester bar. So good luck to him. And lastly, the Daily Mirror, a, a desperately troubling story. We're going to look at in more detail. How many more victims, asks the Mirror. This is David Fuller, the murderer who sexually assaulted at least 100 dead women and girls in hospital mortuaries. Goodness knows I've been around this job for some time, but that is probably one of the most disturbing stories I've ever had to cover. We'll look at it later in the show. OK, we'll come to your reactions concerning, as you remember, the bulk of the headlines are the sleaze, the backlash, the U-turn or whatever. Your reactions in a moment. Let's go to a senior member of the government, Conservative MP and Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi, who is going to be telling us about an important initiative for all our school children in the classrooms in just a moment. But first, I, I have to say, headlines such as humiliation, shambles, U-turn. What confidence do you have in the Prime Minister, Mr Zahawi? Good morning. Good morning, uh, Nick. Uh, the Prime Minister has always been clear that paid lobbying is wrong. Uh, I think it's worth just putting that on record. Uh, I think the mistake, um, and I think it was quite right for the Leader of the House, Jacob Rees-Mogg, uh, upon reflection, to return to the House yesterday and explain that actually uh, the drive to try and create a better and fairer system with a right of appeal should not have been conflated with a specific case involving Owen Patterson. And that was the, uh, the mistake. And I think it's right uh, when you reflect that you act quickly and the Prime Minister acted quickly and to go back to the house and correct it. In any walk of life, at LBC, I'm sure, or Global Radio, uh, if uh, senior management or uh, any part of the organisation think they've made a mistake, it's right to reflect and come back and correct Mr. it. Mr. And that's Zahawi, what we, we uh, did yesterday. Mr Zahawi, a private organisation could not survive in this fashion. No way would Global Radio move to a situation, or, or I can speak for them, in a situation like that, that is palpably ludicrous, Whoever thought that that would work clearly needs to have either a rest or consider another position, don't they? Well, look, I, it was unsustainable, I would, Mr. Zahari. I would respectfully disagree. So the reason why Jacob Rees-Mogg, the leader of the House, returned to Parliament literally the next morning and said, actually, upon reflection, we need to focus on creating well, a better... whoever thought it was a good idea in the first place, place Mr. But, Zahari. Right. So let's, let's unpack that a bit. Do you agree with me, Nick, that we needed a fairer system with right of appeal, like many other uh, professions in this country? Yes or yeah. no? I'm, I'm sure yeah. you're going to say yes. The right? answer is yes, but not during, not at, while the process is on. It's like trying to change the rules of rugby with about five minutes to go. Correct, which is why the PM has always been clear that paid lobbying is wrong. And actually, when reflecting that we shouldn't have conflated the two, Jacob rees came back to the House and said, look, that, that was a mistake. Let's correct this now. My appeal to all my fellow parliamentarians, because it's up to the legislature and we need cross-party cooperation on this, is to create a fairer system with the right of appeal. And I think that's the right thing to do. We'll move on. But just lastly, who's to blame for this? The Prime Minister, the Chief Whip, the Commons Leader? Come on, who's culpable? I take collective responsibility uh, as a government, um, and I think it's right that we say, look, we made a mistake and we want to get this right. Uh, and of course, the legislature ultimately um, has, a, a, I hope, a duty to, to create a, a, 
uh, you know, a better system that carries the confidence of the nation. Your, li your, your listeners, your viewers um, have to have confidence in the system, which is why I think it was right to reflect and very quickly come back and say, look, we made a mistake by conflating those two things. Let's separate them out. You know, a specific case on Owen Patterson it needs to be dealt with separately. There, there was going to be a vote on it. Obviously, Owen then uh, decided to resign. Um, I, I also think, by, by the way, part of possibly where these things you know where you do make a mistake is that the, the sort of human factor is the compassion you know there's a family here that's lost Indeed. a mother through suicide and owen himself has been devastated by this and i think you, if you take it in the round you know we're all human beings when you make a mistake i'd much rather have a government and a prime minister and a chief whip who says hold on a second let's 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 go back because we i think we've made a mistake here i th that makes me much more confident uh, of the character of the people leading this country uh, than people who would just you know would have just plowed on ahead uh, uh, regardless this is not the return of tory sleeves then Mr. Zahari. I don't I, I don't I don't recognize that because I actually think what we did yesterday was the right thing to say look let's focus on the process and getting that right for all MPs uh, in the future but also uh, recognizing a mistake and putting our, our hands up saying actually hold on a second I think conflating the two things was wrong it's being perceived as being you know deliberate it's not deliberate. Lobbying, paid lobbying is wrong. The Prime Minister has been very clear on that. And I think it's the right thing to come forward and, and say that. Let's talk about the classroom. You've mm. got your, the government wants to help teachers deliver world-leading climate education. What does that mean in, in reality, Mr Zahawi? Right, a couple of things. One, um, we will be launching the, the primary uh, science model curriculum. So at primary uh, school, teachers will have fantastic uh, resources to be able to deliver uh, uh, to those young minds and Mia who's what, nine. What are fantastic results? What does that mean? So so we'll, we'll, we'll absolutely work with teachers, with educationalists to give teachers the tools, the wherewithal uh, to be able to, to teach young minds about uh, uh, climate change, about global warming, about why we need to keep the temperature to 1.5 degrees uh, rise uh, and what damage that would do if we go beyond that. Uh, and then of course um, we're launching i'm launching the sustainability and climate change strategy uh again um to work with uh teachers the teaching profession so that by uh, april of next year it will be uh you know, fully developed and delivered so that we can deliver the same level of uh, uh climate education in science in geography and in citizenship uh, across our schools and two other really important things which i think your listeners will be really interested in is a national education nature park so if you take all of our nurseries schools colleges universities it is you know basically land twice the size of birmingham uh, of parkland and we're going to link it all up uh, virtually i'm appealing to lots of technology companies to come forward and partner with us because we're going to sort of geospatially and i hope in real time link all this up so that students young people can engage in biodiversity in their school um uh, uh, you know in their uh, uh forests i went to west coventry academy and saw their brilliant uh, work in the land that they have over 30 acres now some schools in inner city london and elsewhere don't have much space but by linking it all up creating this park nature park i think we'll be doing something great for um, education of young minds about the climate and the other one is the climate leaders awards these are these are going to be you know, bringing up together the best of the Duke of Edinburgh, the, 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 you know, all the work that they've done and other people have done, the Prince's Trust, and creating a Climate Leaders Award that give young people and their communities concrete recognition yeah. comparable to the sort of Duke of Edinburgh Awards uh, for their work. And we will develop those in collaboration with, with young people. How will you, or rather the, the teachers, bear in mind some of these young people to get the gravity of climate change across you have to effectively say the world is about to collapse to a five six or seven year old surely that could cause some degree of panic or fear education secretary of state well i think you you do two things one uh, you provide the evidence but i think you also provide them with the hope and the aspiration 
to become great scientists and innovators themselves because I've seen when I was... A five-year-old become a great scientist. All you're yes. going to tell him or her is the world's about to collapse and we're no. going to be burnt to a crisp. No, 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 Nick. We get what we're yes, going to yes, do. Yes, yes, yes. No, Mr. because my, my daughter, right, and when she was five and six and seven and, and, now, and now nine, right, loves to talk about you know science and innovation uh, dad is a chemical engineer what can we do whether it's infusion technology or offshore wind or solar or hydrogen all these things are unbelievably exciting for young minds to think about and i hope ultimately become great engineers of the future that will help solve some of the you know, technological um uh, uh, challenges right. that we may face and i think that will happen okay lastly i just have to come back to the events that we started our conversation with uh, you're probably aware of an organization called yougov they're a polling organization mrs harvey uh, they've done some work for the times and the conservative lead has shrunk by five it is just one percent over the labor party uh, the damage could be fatal couldn't it well, look, uh, opinion polls, and I know you gov well. Uh, I founded it. I have nothing to do with it now, but I, I founded I that's, it. That's why I slipped that one. Uh, I know, yeah. I know you did. Uh, cheeky, but good. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it's a snapshot of public opinion. We have to. But we have, we have to respect these polling organisations, don't we, Mr. Zahawi? Absolutely. So, what yeah. do you take from this? You've gone and from six-point lead to one-point lead. I would argue, probably mostly because of perceptions of sleaze. I take from it that we can't be complacent, that it was right to come back to Parliament and say we made a mistake. I think actually people, uh, you know, listeners, uh, participants in, in polls will understand that it is only human when you know you've made a mistake to come back and say we made a mistake and we're going to correct it and that we want a fairer system of appeals. They know that because it's right in other walks of life and other sectors of the economy. So I think it's the right thing to do. And of course, the really important poll will be the general election. Grateful for your time. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi appearing here on LBC 732. This is Breakfast with me, Nick Ferrari. News time now. Thomas Watts. Boris Johnson is facing the prospect of a by-election dominated by allegations of sleaze following the resignation of Owen Paterson. The backbencher resigned as a Conservative MP last night after a government U-turn on plans for the standard system. Yorkshire County Cricket Club has been suspended from hosting international matches over racism claims. An inquiry